Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about nested collections of a Cloud Firestore database. So by the end of this video, you will know how to create a collection inside a document of another collection and how to add items to that nested collection and how to fetch the content of that nested collection and display them on the UI. Now for this example, I have created a simple application. On the home page, we are displaying a list of posts. So you can think of this to be a forum kind of an app. On the home page, we have a list of posts or threads. If you click on it, then the details page appears where we can make comments on this particular post or thread. On the home page, we also have a floating action button that loads a form to add a new post. But in this video, we are not concerned about that page. To add a new post and we are not concerned about this list page we are only concerned about the details page because in that page we are going to interact with a sub collection a collection that we create inside a document of another collection so if you take a look at the database here you will notice that we have a collection named post inside this collection we have different documents corresponding to the different posts and we are displaying this items in our home page right if you click on one of these documents then you will find the information that we have inside a particular document we still have the information like the complete text of the post along with those information we are going to have a collection here a sub collection inside that collection we shall store the comments made on this particular post now at this moment you may be thinking why are we using a collection why don't we save the comments inside a an array so if you are wondering that you will get the answer by the end of this video so inside the details page we have a floating action button on tapping this button a bottom sheet appears on that bottom sheet we have a text form field and a button so we can write the comment here so on tapping that button we are going to add the comment to the collection of the particular document and then we are going to fetch the content of this collection of one particular document and we shall display those comments in this detail space itself so here at the top we are displaying the text of the post below that text we are displaying the comments made on this post and then we have this floating action button to load the bottom sheet with the text form field and the button to add a comment, right? Now inside this on press function of this elevated button, we are going to write the code to add this comment to the comments collection of this particular document. All right. So, so for that, we have to get the collection reference for the collection comments for this particular document. All right. So first of all, we have to get the document reference. Then we can get the reference of the collection, which is inside the document by calling the function collection. All right. So the first step here is to create a field of type document reference. And then inside the constructor, we are going to get the document reference. To get the document reference, we have to get the reference of our root collection, the collection named posts so we are going to call firebase firestore dot instance dot collection we shall pass the name of the collection which is post and then we are going to call the function doc to this function we have to pass the id of the document for which we are trying to get the document reference right so in this case we are passing this map from the list page this map contains the existing content the text of the post as well as the id of the corresponding document so we are going to pass that id to this function doc this will give us this document reference and now we are going to call the function collection on it to get the reference of the collection comments of this particular document so for this we have to create another field of type collection reference and then inside the constructor itself we are going to get the collection reference by calling collection on this document reference and we shall pass the name of the collection so this is this time comments right now here inside the on press function of the floating action button we are calling the function show model bottom sheet to display this bottom sheet from this builder function of the bottom sheet we are returning 
the widget that we want to load on the bottom sheet so we have a padding then a column inside the column we have one text form field for the user to enter the comment and then the elevated button we are using a text editing controller and we are passing this instance of text editing controller to this text form field inside the elevated button we are creating a map and inside this map we are adding the text the comment we are getting it using the controller from the text form field all right and now here we are going to call the function add on the collection reference on the collection reference for the collection comments that we have inside this document representing the post right so here we have this collection reference named reference comments so this is the this is the one for the comments collection right we are going to call the function add on it and we are going to pass this map containing the text of the comment to be added and then we are going to dismiss this bottom sheet by calling pop on the navigator all right so let's save these changes let's try to run the app and here i have opened the database and let's try adding some comment here so this statement will create the collection if it does not already exist if it already exists then it will simply add the item to the collection all right and here we can see that a new collection has been created and a comment has been added so this is how we can create a collection inside a document so we have a document inside the collection post and inside this document we are creating another collection containing some other documents now i'm going to show you how to fetch these items from this collection the comments and then display them on the ui now to fetch the items from this collection we are going to call the function snapshots on the collection reference we can call gate which will give us a future we can use that and the future builder to display the comments but we are going to use the stream returned by this function snapshot because if we use a stream then we can listen to the real time changes which means that the we can we will be able to update the ui automatically so whenever a comment is posted that will appear on the ui immediately without doing refresh or anything else all right so first of all let us create a field of type stream of type query snapshot because the function snapshot that we call on the collection reference gives us a stream of type query snapshot so at the end an instance of the class query snapshot will be available all right and from that instance of query snapshot we can get a list of query document snapshots where the individual instances of query document snapshot represent the documents of the collection from that instance we can get the data of the individual documents all right so let's create a field of type stream of query of type query snapshot and inside the constructor we are going to get the stream by calling snapshot on the collection reference and we shall assign this stream to this field all right now we are going to add a stream builder to the widget tree let us take a look at the widget tree that we, that we are returning from this build function so here we have this scaffold we have an app bar we have a floating action button i have collapsed this for clarity and then we have the body to the body we are adding a column all right and inside the list children we are adding a container inside that container we have a text widget to display the text of the post and then below this container we have the widget expanded to the parameter child of this widget we are passing the the value returned by this function build comments list view so we have created a separate function to create the list view the widget for displaying the comments all right now from this function we are going to return the widget tree for displaying the list of comments so we are going to use a stream thus we are going to use the widget stream builder so let's return an instance of the widget stream builder so here we also have to specify the type the type of the data that we are expecting from the stream and then we are going to pass values for two of the parameters one the stream so here we are going to pass this stream so we have already created this field stream which holds the stream that we get by calling the function snapshots right 
so we shall pass that stream to this parameter and we are going to pass an implementation of a function to this parameter builder so this function is responsible for creating the layout of layout depending on the value that we get from the stream right this function gets two parameter one is the build context and the second is an instance of the class async snapshot we shall get the data or in error in case of an error from this instance itself so inside this function first of all we are going to check if any error has occurred we shall check if snapshot dot has error is true if it is true then we are going to return a text widget with the error message if it has the data if snapshot dot has data is true then we are going to get the data and we shall use a list view to display the data so we are going to return an instance of list view populated with the content that we get from the stream all right and if none of these are true then we are going to return a circular progress indicator to display a loader at the screen now here inside this block when we have the data first of all we are going to get the data from the field data of the instance snapshot so snapshot dot data will give us an instance of the class query snapshot in this case all right the value that the stream provides becomes available inside this field data now if we call the function docs on this instance of query snapshot we shall get a list of instances of query document snapshot so the individual items of this list the individual instances of the class query document snapshot represents the individual documents of our collection now we are going to convert this list of query document snapshots to a list of maps so we are going to convert the individual instances of query document snapshots to maps all right so we can do that by calling the function map on this list and we have to pass an implementation of a function to this function map and this function that we pass to it is responsible for making the conversion all right it gets the existing instance as the argument and then we can parse it and create the instance that we want so in this case we are going to create a map from this instance which is of type query document snapshot all right and then we shall call the function to list on it so here while creating the map we are going to add the comment text one field comment text and the value that we get from this instance and we are also going to add another field named id for the comment id so we shall get that by calling e.id so now we have a list of map and we are going to display this list on using a list view so let's return an instance of list view we are going to create the list view using the constructor builder to this builder function we are going to pass the length of this list to the parameter item count and we are going to pass an implementation of this item builder function this is responsible for creating the layout of the individual items this gets the context and the index using which we can get the individual items of our list so here we are going to create a variable of type map to hold the individual map of our list all right and now we are going to return an instance of the widget list style from this function and to the parameter title of this list style we are going to pass the pass a text widget with the text of the comment so we can get that using the key comment text from this map right now save the changes and here we can see the loader and we can see the comments now so these are the comments that have been made on this particular post right so we are fetching the content of a collection which is inside a document of another collection post let us try posting a few more comments and we can see them appear immediately on the list so they are appearing immediately because we are using a stream a stream listens to the real time changes and we are using the stream builder to create the ui depending on the value that we get from the stream that, but you may notice one problem here and that is the order of the comments so they are not appearing in the proper order right the comment added last should appear at the top here so to fix this we are going to add a timestamp with each comment and we are going to sort them we are going to order them by that timestamp 
so here while creating the map for adding the comment to the collection we are going to add one more key value pair here let's add the key posted on and here we are going to add a timestamp we can get a server timestamp but by calling field value dot server timestamp so this will add a timestamp with each of the comment and now we can order the comments by this timestamp so here while calling the function snapshot to get the stream we are going to call the function order by and then we shall call the function snapshot so to the function order by we have to pass the field by which we want to order so let's pass posted on and then we are going to pass true for the parameter descending now save the changes try to add a few comments and now you will notice that the comments are appearing in the appropriate order the recently made comments are appearing at the top the olders at the bottom so this is how we can create collections inside a document of another collection and we can fetch the data of those nested collections and display them on the ui now let us come back to this question why don't we use an array to store the comments instead of using a collection and the simple answer is for performance so the documents should be lightweight because whenever you try to get the content of a document you are going to get all of the content you cannot select a few fields to fetch all right so let's consider this example itself we have the post inside the documents for the post we have the content of the post and we have the comments let's consider that we have a title and then the body of the post so we we shall have this content and then the comments right and if we are storing the comments in a in an array inside the document itself then whenever you try to get the content of the documents you are going to get all of the content the title the body as well as the comments you cannot select a few fields for example you cannot do that this time get only the title and the body of the post we shall get the comments later on you cannot do that so imagine that we have hundreds of posts in our app and each of the posts have hundreds and hundreds of comments so in the home page where we are fetching the all of the posts from our collection post and displaying them on the ui we are going to get hundreds of posts and inside all of the post we are also going to get the hundreds and hundreds of comments together all right so this is going to have a negative impact on the performance of the app and thus we have this option of creating nested collections the option of creating collections inside a document so when we store the comments inside a collection inside our document then whenever we try to get the documents we are not going to get the comments which are inside the collection to get the content of the collections we have to make the calls separately that we have learned in this video itself so this is the reason and this is very useful in such cases when we have lots of items to be stored inside a document for example in this case we have the post then we have the comments imagine a chat application where you have the different conversations with with individual users and you need to display them on the home page or on a list and when you click on that item you have to display the comments or the messages of the individual conversations if you do that using an using an array instead of a collection then whenever you display the list of conversations in a screen you are going to fetch all of the comments for all of the conversations which is not the best way right so in such a case we can use this way of nested collections now the next question that you may have in your mind is how many levels of nesting can we do and the answer is 100 so you can create hundreds of nested collections inside a firestore document if this video has helped you then like this video subscribe to the channel and let's get connected on the comment section